And amen. Praise the Lord. If that is for the Lord, let's give the highest praise, the highest honor, the highest glory to our God. Amen. Before we sitting down, let us just read our a scripture text this afternoon. In the book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 11, let us all read together. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any conform from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in Spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Sige po, let's continue reading. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. May the Lord will continually add blessing upon the reading of His mighty and powerful words. Let us all be seated in the very presence of our God. Amen. A blessed good afternoon po sa bawat isa po sa atin. Amen. I believe that all of us... We are all excited to really worship and honor our God and that is the reason why we are here. Because we want to thank Him, we want to glorify Him, we want to pour out our thanksgiving unto Him. Amen? Can I hear an amen? amen. Praise God and the message that God has placed into my heart, I entitled it, A Heart of a Servant. Amen? As we are declaring revival, a call to excellent service. Can you declare it with me? A heart of a servant, revival, a call to excellent service. Amen? A call to excellent service. Amen? An excellence defined very good, it's kind. Amen? Eminently good and superior. Amen? And excellent is one of the core values of our church. Amen? Amen? And I believe that God wanted us to give our excellent service. Amen? So excellence means something or someone that is extremely good. Kaya tignan mo yung katabi mo, extremely good yan. Praise God. So isang bagay o isang taong napakahusay. Amen? Napakahusay ng katabi mo ngayon. Ayaw mong maniwala? <laughs> Praise God! Amen! Amen. Praise God. So, excellent is giving our best. Excellence is re reaching our God, given potential. Amen. And excellent is doing the best we can what, of what we've got. Amen. And I believe, amen, God has planted a seed within us. Amen. Amen po ba? And why we serve or why serve? And why serve with excellence? Amen? Bakit po ba natin kailangan magbigay po ng excellente? Amen? Because God created us with excellence. Amen? God created us with excellence. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, in the NLT version, it says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us and you in Christ Jesus so that we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. Amen. And that's the reason why we serve with excellence because God created us with excellence, excellent spirit. Do you agree? Because we have an excellent God. 
Amen? Another thing, why we serve and why serve with excellence? Because God deserves our best. Amen? In Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, in the NCV version, in all the work you are doing, work the best you can. Amen? Work as if you were doing it for the Lord, not for people. Amen? Hindi po sa tao. Amen? And another thing, why we serve or why we give our excellent service? Because God expects our work to be an act of worship. Not out of responsibility, but act out of worship. Amen? In the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1, So brothers and sisters, since God has shown us great mercy, I beg you to offer your lives as a living sacrifice to Him. Your offering must be only for God and pleasing to Him, which is the spiritual way for you to worship. Amen? Napakalinaw. Amen? So our work is not work. Amen? But it's worship. Amen? We should be the hardest workers. Amen? Yes, that's the deeper end from overwork. Wala naman pong overwork dito, ano? Tignan mo yan, katabi mo, baka overwork. <laughs> Amen. So we know who we are in the very presence of our God. Amen. With the best attitude, always striving to do our best. And I believe for God's glory, amen, and by the grace of God, we are here striving. Amen. Striving to do our best for the Lord. Can I hear one? Amen. 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 To reach our potential because we aren't working for a church or a company. Amen. But we are working in worshiping our God. Kaya kapag ikaw ay nag-worship kay Lord, all out. Amen. Bigay todo. Amen. You are not holding back. Amen. But you give your all out worship to our God. We give our humble worship to our God. Amen. Pag nakita mo the, very big, the bigness of our God, you will be more humble in the very presence of God. Do you agree? Amen. Pag nakita po natin yung grabing kabutihan ng Lord, talagang manliliit ka. And you will become more humble and you are you can give your humble worship to our God. Amen. And another thing why we serve with excellence because God requires our full potential. Amen. God requires our full potential. In the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 11, this is our team verse this month of April. Amen. Do not be lazy but work hard. Serving the Lord with all your heart. Amen. Serving the Lord with all our hearts. That's why there is a reminder. Amen. Excellence does not mean perfection. Although they are often used together or assumed to be together, a perfectionist would walk through a rose garden and focus on the weed, not the bouquet in front of them. And here are a couple of examples. Amen. Ano, yung nakalagay, nakalagay po dyan, amen, nabubulol po ako. Excellence motivates you, amen, but perfectionism, perfectionism paralyze you, amen. Another thing, excellence is a cure and perfectionism is a disease, amen. So one, our team this month, amen, revival, a call to excellence service makes me realize that it is really impossible for us to give an excellent service without dealing our heart first. Do you agree? Diba? Mahirap magbigay ng excellent service without dealing our heart to God. Amen? Because our heart is very important. It is really matters to God when it comes to service. Kaya po napaka-importante pong maintindihan po natin because the Bible clearly says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 24, it says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ 
It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Amen? Para hindi po tayo mapagod. Amen? And for us to have a heart of a servant, let's take a look and understand the meaning of servant. Amen? So the word servant or service or serve in the various form occur well over 1,100 times in the New Testament. Amen? People are servant of other human beings or servant of God. Amen. In the Old Testament, the Hebrew word for servant is ebed. It contains at least two key ingredients, actions. So the servants as worker, amen, and obedience. And servants belong to other people, amen. In the book of Genesis chapter 24 verse 35, and also in the book of Exodus chapter 21 verse 21, and perform a variety of work, amen. So, makikita po natin in the Bible, in the Old Testament time, even in the New Testament time, many persons in the Old Testament are called servants. Amen? Through the life of Abraham, Jacob, Amen, Joshua, Samuel, King David, Amen, even Hannah, napakarami pong Bible character. Amen? Na talagang naging a servant po ng ating pong Panginoon. And let's, let's take a look what does... Uh, how, how servant is being described, amen, in the Bible, amen. So servant is a person who performs duties for others, amen, such as a person employed in a house on domestic duties or a personal assistant, amen. A person employed in the service of a government, amen. Di ba? Pero madalas kasi pag sinabing servant, di po ba lalo na po sa ibang bansa, we are called like domestic helper. Ako po, nagtrabaho po ako sa Hong Kong for 16 years. And uh, uh, dito rin po sa Canada, amen, as a nanny, amen, for five years. So like to more, than 20, more than 20 years of my life, amen, talagang naglingkod po tayo, amen. And I can really relate no, kung ano pong ibig sabihin ng servant, amen. So a devoted and helpful follower or supporter. Amen. A person willing to serve for others. Amen. So now the question here is, do you really want to serve God? May kausap po ba ako? Do you really want to serve God? Are you truly decided no, to serve the Lord? Challenge accepted? Diba sa Facebook nga, challenge accepted. What about in serving God? Amen? Siguro iniisip nyo pa lang, naku, servant, mahirap yan, Sister Marian. Di po ba? Lalo na po rito yung mga talagang nagtrabaho po as a domestic helper in Saudi Arabia, amen, in uh, Hong Kong, in Taiwan. Hindi po madali ang buhay ng isang uh, domestic helper. Amen. In the book of Matthew chapter 20 verse 26 to 28 in the NLT version it says, Not so with you, instead whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. Amen. And whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Amen. So the Bible clearly says that if you want to be great, you must be a servant of all. Amen. Now, if I may ask you again the second time around, do you really want to be a servant? Amen. Malam niya pa rin yung inyong amen. Hindi kayo excited. Pero pag blessing talaga namang, oh, eh, talagang with all, ano, all energy. Di po ba? I believe no, all of us are decided to really serve the Lord our God. Challenge accepted? Amen. How do I serve God with the heart of a servant? Kasi sabi ko nga po, it is really impossible for us to give an excellent service to our excellent God without dealing our hearts. Hindi mo pwedeng ibigay ang excellent service. Amen. Without dealing our heart first before the Lord. Amen. Now, how do I serve God with the heart of a servant? Amen. Number one, 
Willingness to serve with a humble heart. Amen. Serve with a humble heart with all humility. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 3, 8, ito po yung ating pong verse. Sabi po dito, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceits. Rather in humility, value others above yourselves. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Amen. Kaya po ba natin yon? Yes, we can. Amen. Through the help of our gods. Amen. Because greater is in us than he that is in the world. Amen. And we can do all things through Christ Jesus who give us the strength. Amen. So what does it mean to be humble with gods? So humility in the Bible is presented as the practice of meekness. Amen. Obedience to God. Respect of self and others. Amen. Submissiveness and modesty. In, in the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13, it says, People with humility put others' need before their own. Amen. Sacrificing for the love of others. Amen. Ano pong sabi dyan? Therefore, as God chosen people, Amen. Holy and dearly love, clothe yourself with compassion. Kindness, humility, gentleness, and practice. And that's why it is really important for us to have this kind of spirit. Amen. The spirit of servanthood. Amen. The spirit of humility must be seen in our life. Can I hear an amen? amen. And let's see the evidences of a humble heart. Ano po ba ito? Dapat ito po yung nakikita po sa buhay po ng isang lingkod ng Panginoon. Amen? Number one evidence is the humble heart understands dependence upon God. Amen? In the book of John chapter 15 verse 5, makes it clear that apart from Jesus, we cannot accomplish anything. Sabi po dyan, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Amen. So it is really it, very clear, amen, that apart from Jesus, we cannot accomplish anything of eternal value. We really need God in our life. It is impossible to do God's will, amen, and to store up treasures in heaven if we think that we are fully able without our God. Amen. So the humble rightly understand their insufficiency and powerlessness apart from our God. Amen. Kailangan po natin ng Panginoon. That's why we really need to invite God in our life. Amen. Another evidence says of a humble heart, the humble heart trembles before God's word. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 66 verse 2, has not my hand made all these things? And so they come into being, declares the Lord. These are the ones I look with favor for those who are humble and contrite in spirit and who tremble at my word. Hello? So, we could see here that God not only delights in those who tremble before his word. Amen. But he promises to look to them, to use them mightily for the purposes of the kingdom. Amen. And those with humble hearts don't read God's word carelessly, but rather with hearts that are tender to what God's word might have to say to them, to convict them or teach them. Amen. So they, they take God's word seriously, in the act of hearing it with great reverence. Kaya kapag ikaw ay nakikinig ng salita ng Panginoon, you don't, you don't uh, allow other people to distract you. Because you, want, you give honor, you give reverence in reading the very word of God and listening to the very word of God na kahit inaantok ka na, 
di ba? You are trying to to receive, no? With understanding the very word of God, amen. So there is love and value for what God says that clearly sets apart the humble from the proud, amen. So another evidence says, amen. For a humble heart, amen, is willing. The humble heart is willing to go, no, to 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 own up to sin or acknowledge sin, amen. As just like uh, Isaiah, Prophet Isaiah modeled in Isaiah 6.5. Sabi po dyan, Woe to me, cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Amen. So we could see through the life of Isaiah, no, the humble heart, a humble heart is willing to acknowledge our sin. And the Bible clearly says that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Amen. Another, another evidence says, amen, of a humble heart. So the humble heart is willing to acknowledge human weakness so that Christ can show himself to be strong. Amen. And Paul rightly understood that God's power is perfect, perfected in our weaknesses and that it is in our weakness that He can be strong. Amen. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 to 10. Ano pang sabi po dyan? But He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's powers may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insult, in hardship, in persecution, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen? Ito po ba ay nagmamanifest po sa buhay po natin? Palang wala po akong kausap ngayon. God allowed Paul to suffer so that he would not be tempted to exalt himself. He knew that Paul could fall prey to pride, given all the wondrous things he had seen and experienced. Amen. So God ordained suffering for him to remind him that he was but, but he was but a very weak human being who needed God. Amen. Who needed God for everything. So we need to remember our weakness if we want to let Christ be strong through us. Remember the Bible clearly says, amen, that God uses the weak, the weak things to shame the strong. That God uses the foolish things to shame the wise. Amen. So a humble heart is willing to acknowledge our human weaknesses. Amen. Another evidence says the humble heart as the fruit of obedience. Amen. Like the Israelites cry out to God in the book of Judges chapter 10 verse 15 to 16. The son of Israel said to the Lord, We have sinned. Do to us wherever seems good to you. Only please deliver us this day. So they put away the foreign gods from among them and served the Lord. And he could bear the misery of Israel no longer. So as long as Israel held on their worship of fake, foreign deities, they were opposed to God. Amen. God and his great love for them allowed them to suffer at the hands of foreign peoples. So if their gods were, were so powerful, they only needed to trust in them. Amen. So God taught them a valuable lesson about who was true power and the people repented and put their gods away from them. Amen. Truly humble hearts that truly repent and turn to God will no longer to be will, will no longer be opposed by God. So when we draw near to God, immediately he will draw near to us. Amen. He only wants us to be humble enough. Amen. To call sin Amen. Sin and to deal with it by repenting and seeking the forgiveness that He is fully ready and prepared to offer. Amen. The humble heart 
is an obedient heart. Amen. A call to absolute obedience. Amen. Yun po yung ibig sabihin ng humble. Amen. Another thing, another evidence is, amen, the humble heart values the welfare of others ahead of its own. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 to 4 says, Nothing, do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, sabi po dyan, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourself. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. The humble heart are cognizant of the needs of others. And they are willing to sacrifice so that others can be ministers too. Amen. And the last evidence, the humble heart accept the role of a servant. Amen. Kailangan tanggapin po natin. Amen. Jesus said in Mark chapter 9, verse 35, If anyone wants to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. So the way to greatness in the life to come is by being a servant in the present. Amen. Jesus demonstrated this to the utmost in that his purpose in coming was not to make the most people like him. Amen. To gain the most popularity or to gain an to gain a position or great earthly power. Amen. So his mission was to lay down his life for his ship. Amen. John chapter 10 verse 11 to 15. He came not to be served but to serve. Now he is exalted in heaven with great power. But in this life he was a servant. And we would do well to realize the importance of being a servant in this life. If we want to be great in the next. Amen. That's why humility mean, may not be a characteristic that the words exalt in. But they don't understand God's ways. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, ano pong sabi dyan? Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you at the proper time. There are no shortcuts to true exaltation. Amen? Something only God can bestow. Amen? What is sure is that those who are humble in heart, in heart will, at the proper time, be exalted. Amen. And if we want to truly be exalted, we need to be truly humble. Be humble. Amen. Saying without our Savior, the ultimate expressions of humility, our Lord, not my wills, but yours be done. Amen. So how do I serve God with the heart of a servant? Willingness to serve with a humble heart. And my second point, how do we serve God with the heart of a servant? Willingness to serve with a helpless, selfless service. Amen. Lagi naman po natin naririnig yan. Humble servant, selfless servant. But the Lord wanted us to really understand for us to give an excellent service. Three things that we need to understand. Amen. So willingness to serve with selfless service. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24, serve with selfless service. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. Amen. So what is selflessness? Selflessness in a biblical context is an attitude and way of life that prioritizes the needs, interests, and welfare of others before one's own. Amen. It embodies the spirit of love, humility, and servitude that Jesus Christ exemplified during His earthly ministry. Amen. It is about considering the needs and concern of others as more important than one's own desires and preferences. Amen. Dapat iyon po yung nakikita natin na mas mahalaga po yung pagbibigay ng pagpapahalaga sa ibang tao kaysa sa sarili po natin. Amen. And we need to experience this selfless service. Amen. Paano po ba ito? How can we experience that selfless service? So we need to reflect on Christ's example. 
Amen? Start by reflecting on Jesus' selfless life and His ultimate sacrifice on the cross. So when you go back to, to the cross, Amen? Reflecting on what God has done of, or what God has done in our life, Amen? You will not struggle. Amen? And let His examples inspires our, inspires us to live, amen, selflessly. Dapat it, si Jesus po yung maging inspiration po natin. Amen? Another thing, practice humility every single day of our life. Ito po, lagi pong sinasabi po ng ating minamahal na pastora, welcome to the dying ministry. Welcome to the dying Your, dying to yourself ministry. Galatians 2.20 I am crucified with Christ. I no longer live but Christ lives in me. ba? Diba? Yun po eh. We need to practice every single day. Cultivate a spirit of humility. Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 Encourage believers to count others as more significant than themselves. Amen. This requires acknowledging our own limit limitations and imperfection. Amen? Kailangan ito makita lagi. Maisa ka pamuhay po natin every single day. Another thing, put love into action. Amen? Diba? We, uh, we always um, heard, amen, hear that... Uh, that uh, praise, amen, put love into action or love is action. Diba yung ganon? So love is at, the one, is at the core of selfishness, amen. Actively demonstrate love by showing kindness, compassion, and generosity to those around you. Amen. Nagagawa po ba natin ang lahat ng ito? Hello? Another thing that the Lord wanted us to experience selflessness, we need to serve others. Amen. Look for opportunities to serve others without expecting anything in return. Amen. Acts of service can range from helping with, with chores to volunteering in their community. Ano po ba yung mga ginagawa po natin to serve other people? Marami po, visiting hospitals, praying for them, di po ba? Or sometimes, we cook food for the sick. No, marami po tayong ginagawa. Amen? So, serve others. Another experiencing selflessness, practice active listening. Make an effort truly listen to others. Often people need someone who will genuinely Hear their concerns and feelings. Kahit yung makinig ka lang, malaking bagay na yon. Pero make sure, no, na yung pinakikinggan mo ay hindi, hindi po yung gossip, ha? Hello? Be empathetic. Seek to understand the experiences and emotions of others. Because empathy helps you connect with people on a deeper level and responds to their needs effectively. Amen? Ito po mga napakasi simple. Another thing, give freely. Be willing to give without expecting repayment. O, tinulungan kita ngayon. Dapat balik mo yan, ha? Diba? Ano yan? Five, six? So this includes materials, possession, time, and emotional support. Amen. And the last thing, forgive and let go. Life must move on. Amen. Release grudges and forgive those who have wronged you because forgiveness is a selfless act that promotes healing and reconciliation. Amen. Can I hear an amen? Meron pa po pala. Pray, pray for selflessness. Amen. Ask God to cultivate a selfless here, a selfless heart within you. Pray for the strength to consist, consistently prioritize the needs of others. And the last, accountability and reflection. So regularly assess your actions and motives. Seek 
accountability from fellow fellow believers to help you stay on the path on the path of selflessness amen so selflessness is a virtue deeply rooted in the teachings of Jesus Christ it involves prior prioritizing the well-being of others so practicing humility and demonstrating love through selfless action amen so by reflecting on Christ's example cultivating humility putting love into actions serving others actively listening and practicing empathy giving freely forgiving praying for selflessness and seeking accountability so christian can actively pursue selflessness in their in our daily lives amen and doing so they reflect the love of christ and fulfill the biblical mandate to love others above themselves amen so how do we serve god with the heart of a servant ano po yung number one amen be willing to humble your hearts amen be willing to humble your heart and the second one is willingness to serve willingness to selfless service amen and my last point is willing to serve with a pure heart amen number one po willingness to serve with a humble heart pangalawa po willingness to serve a selfless service and the third one willingness to serve with a pure heart amen kasi pag hindi po natin without understanding these three principles amen we cannot really give our excellent service to god mapapagod lang po tayo amen and let us re, uh, let us really uh, receive by heart Amen. And live out every day, every single day of our life. So that in everything that we do, Amen, hindi po siya masasayang. Can I hear one Amen? At hindi po tayo dumating sa punto na tayo po ay mag-complain o mapagod. Amen? So, how do I serve God with a, with a heart of a servant? Amen? Serve with a pure heart. A pure heart is required to be a to be a pleasing to our God, Amen. And what is a pure heart? One of the teaching by Reverend Pastor Joey Crisostomo, a pure heart is marked by transparency and um, an uncompromising desire to please God in all things. Dapat po wala pong uh, we are not compromising anything, Amen. When it comes to a pure heart, Amen. Kapag sinabing pure heart without any compromising. Amen? So the basic idea is that of integrity. Amen? Singleness of hearts as opposed to duplicity, a double heart. Amen? Or a divided heart according to Wearsby. Amen? So a pure heart is one that is cleansed, free from the control of the weakness and dedicated to God. It is a heart that has a singleness of purpose, amen, to serve and worship our God. Amen. Another thing, a pure heart is a heart that has nothing to do with false hold. Amen. It is painstaking, uh, painstakingly truthful and free from deceitfulness. Amen. In Psalms 24, verse 3 to 5, in the NIV version, it says, Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in His holy place? The one who has clean hands in a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or, swear, or swear, swear by a false god, they will receive blessings from the Lord and vindications from God their Savior. So, there are important facts about a pure heart. Amen. Because purity is the fundamental quality because everything we do in service to God flows from it. Amen. In, in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, ano pang sabi po dyan? Above all else, guard your hearts. Amen? We need to guard our hearts. Amen? And moral and spiritual, spiritual purity increases our capacity to operate in power. Amen? 
the Bible clearly says in Joshua chapter 3, verse 5, that consecrate yourself for tomorrow, the Lord will do amazing things among you. Amen? So how can I serve God with a pure heart? Paano po ba tayo maglingkod sa Panginoon? There are practical applications. Mabilis na lamang po ito. Number one po, let us learn to embrace God's call to purity. Amen? In Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 7, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 7, it says, For God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. Amen? So we need to move away from every form of evil that seeks to pollute our lives. Amen? Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. In the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 27. Amen? Another thing, how can we serve God with a pure hearts? A strong commitment to God's word. Amen? Dapat po yung salita ng Panginoon lagi po nasa puso natin. In Psalms 119 verse 11, I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Amen? Another thing, how to serve our God with a pure heart? Remember that the mind is key to purity. Amen. I remember po yung siner po ni Brother Jess yesterday. Amen. The three things that God can do in our life, He can also renew our, change our mind, change our heart, and even change our life. Amen. So remind that the mind is key to purity. We make sure that our mind is pure in the, in, in, before the very eyes of the Lord. Amen. Ano pang sabi ng... Ephesians, amen. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Amen. And another thing, through frequent honest heart examination. Amen. Amen. How to serve our God with a pure heart? Through frequent, honest heart examination. Sino po rito yung, like every single day, you are allowing the Lord to search our heart. Amen. Like King David. Amen. In the book of Psalms 139, verse 23 to 24, ano pang sabi dyan? Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. Yun po yung prayer po ni Haring David. And I believe the same prayer before the Lord, no, before we go to sleep, we ask the Lord to search our hearts. Because we do not know what will gonna happen tomorrow. It might be our last day, last hour. Amen. We make sure that our mind is clean before the Lord. Amen. Another thing, the last thing, amen, how to serve our God with a pure heart. Keep in mind that only the blood of Christ and the Holy Spirit can bring lasting change and purity in our hearts. Amen. Ano pong sabi ng John chapter 16 verse 8? And He, when He comes, will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Amen? So, those three things, amen? How to have a servant heart, amen? How do I serve God with a heart of a servant? Willingness to serve with a humble heart. Willingness to serve with a selfless service. Willingness to serve with a pure heart. Amen? Meron po ba tayong naintindihan? Napaka-simple po, no? Sabi ko nga, when I was really asking the Lord for a message this afternoon po, actually po, totally na-change yung outline ko. Buti na lang kayo ng umaga, nandito po ako. From morning, nag-break lang ako ng lunch para matapos po yung aking outline. Sabi ng Lord, the Lord just impressed into my heart, tell to my people, in order for them to give an excellent service, three things that I would like them to know and understand. Yun po yung sabi ng Lord, no? That we really need to, we need to be willing to give our humble heart, amen, serving our God with a humble heart. Sabi po ng Panginoon, give 
um, willingness to serve our God with selfless service, willingness to serve with a, with a pure heart. Tatlo lang, napakasimple, di po ba? Amen. Because our God deserves an excellent service. Amen. Conclusion na po tayo. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, whatever you do, work at it with all your hearts. And also in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of our God. We live and serve for the glory of God. And we serve God with excellence. Amen. And if that is the prayer of our heart, if that is the very desire of our heart, amen, while we are waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, we really need to live out these three things in our life. Amen. Sabi ko nga po kanina, when I was sharing one of our worker, bago po ako tumayo, sometimes, naisip lang po natin na ang paglilingkod sa Panginoon ay kapag ikaw ay may position. Minsan dumarating yung ganon, di po ba? But don't you know that serving our God, the Lord requires our humble heart, our selfless service, and our pure heart. Simple lang yung hinihingi ng Lord. Hindi mo naman kailangan na maging worker ka bago ka maglingkod kay Lord, di po ba? Hello? Ito lang po yung simple po na ito. And I believe po we have learned something this afternoon. God is not done yet in our life. The Bible clearly says in Philippians 1.6 that He who began a good work in us, He will carry it into completion until the day that He will come again. The Lord wanted us to give our excellent service because God deserves it. And if we truly love our God, we can give these three things even though your leader may not notice it. But there is one important audience in our life in serving God. Sino po yung napaka-importanting audience po natin? No other than our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Sige po, let us all stand up in the very presence of our God. Let us prepare ourselves and contemplate what we have heard, what we have received this afternoon. I know and I believe that the message of the Lord is so clear to each and every one of us. And as we are declaring revival, a call to excellent service, I believe that every single person in this sanctuary, the Lord designed us to give an excellent service. And in order for us to respond on the call of God, we really need to ask the Lord to give us a humble heart, a selfless heart, and a pure heart. And let us allow the power of God to move in our inner being this afternoon. Yes, napakasimple po ng message ng Panginoon, but this message will bring us onto what God wants us to do in our life, in our service unto Him. And I really encourage you all to serve our God 
the best that we can because we do not know what will gonna happen tomorrow. Let us give our utmost service to the one who, who saved us, to the one who loved us. Because God deserves an excellent service from His people. Yes. Can, us, can we just worship our God now? Holding me in your embrace 
Yes, oh God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we come to you, oh Lord, with a humble heart. Like King David, oh God, he prayed, oh Lord, hallelujah, before your very presence. Lord, it is also our prayer this afternoon, oh God, to continually search our hearts, oh God, if there is any offensive way, oh God, that is within us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, come on, let us just humble ourselves before God and ask the Lord to search our hearts. Hallelujah, this very afternoon, wherever you may be, God is here. Our God is here. Let us just open up our heart to the Lord. If there is any unconfessed sin, if there is any sin that is within us, let us just allow, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit of God. Let us just allow God to search us, hallelujah, and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, let us just commune with our God and open up our heart before Him. Yes. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, the Bible declares that if we regard iniquities in our heart, God cannot hear our prayers. This worship will be in vain. If there is wicked ways, if there is any wicked ways, any sin that is within us, hallelujah, and let us claim the very promise of the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you, O God, for renewing our heart tonight, O God. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a heart, a new heart, a heart of flesh, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And our prayer, Lord, this very afternoon, hallelujah, that without your presence, O God, in our life, we cannot... It is impossible for us to give our excellent service. And that's why, Lord, hallelujah, our prayer, oh God, hallelujah, continually give us, oh Lord, a new heart. Hallelujah, a humble heart, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, this is the very cry out of our hearts. This is the desire of our heart, oh God. Give us a heart like King David, a heart, oh Lord, that after your heart, a heart that is humble, a heart, oh Lord, hallelujah, that will seek you, that will love you, that will honor you, oh God, a heart, oh Lord, that beats for you in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. I pray, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, to touch every heart of your people, oh God, in this place, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, for touching, oh God, our hearts. Salamat po, Panginoon, hallelujah, 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 Holy Spirit, Hallelujah, continue to pour out your mighty and powerful presence, O God. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, to those who are desiring to serve you, O God, with an excellent service. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, continue, Lord, to increase, O God, our desire, O Lord, to be used, O God, for the glory of your name. Increase our desire to give, O Lord, a selfless service. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
in the mighty name of Jesus and continue Lord to enable your people oh God because without your presence without your power oh God in our life we cannot do it with our own we cannot do it Lord and we are nothing in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus and that's why Lord I pray hallelujah 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 Holy Spirit pour out your mighty anointing oh God upon each one of us and give us Lord a pure heart oh God in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus because as you've said in your word oh God that home may ascend into the, into the holy hill of the Lord but only those who have clean hands and a pure heart in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus and this very afternoon oh God hallelujah oh hallelujah 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 nakikita nyo po Panginoon ang puso ng inyong mga anak individually our heart is open before you oh God and we cannot hide anything from you Lord you know what we are going through oh Lord in our life in our personal life in our family you know it completely because you are our all-knowing God in the name of Jesus and that's why Lord hallelujah we are calling upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus whatever the needs of your people oh God we pray for an open heaven in the lives of all your people in this place oh God hallelujah hallelujah come on just increase your faith believe in your heart that it is God who will touch you that it is God who will meet you that is it is God who will minister unto you in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus whatever your needs as the Bible clearly says that if we ask anything according to his will he will hear us in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus come on just raise up your hands towards heaven oh hallelujah Jesus hallelujah yes Lord we want more of your presence we want Jesus hallelujah 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 yes my Jesus my Lord you're the love of my life wherever you go wanna be by your side no longer I but Christ living in me
and willing to give His excellent service to the Lord. And if you are that person, just raise up your hands towards heaven right now. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you want to accept the challenge to serve our God with an excellent service, yes. Hallelujah, the Lord is not done yet. The Lord is not done yet. He is about to pour out His power over your life. Yes, just have faith. Have faith and believe that you have received it. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And the Bible clearly says that you will receive power when the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Oh yes, oh God, hallelujah. Oh hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, thank you Lord, hallelujah. Sa lahat po ng mga nagtaas ng kanilang mga kamay, Panginoon. Those who are decided, O Lord. Those who accepted the challenge, O Lord, to serve you with an excellent service. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, as you have promised us, Lord, that you will go before us even to the very end of the age. You will never leave us nor forsake us, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Even, O oh God, for meeting all our needs this afternoon. I know and I believe, O oh Lord, that as we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, O oh Lord, all things will be given unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for all the answered prayers. We thank you, Lord, for your powerful words. We thank you, Lord, even for, your, for touching your people, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, hallelujah, for everything, Lord, that you have done in our life. And even, Lord, in the lives of all your people, in the name of Jesus. Father, continue to seal all the victory, O oh Lord, that we have received. Father, we thank you, we honor you, and we love you. This all we ask in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.